everybody, welcome back to Riley's Railways. Now, I know I haven't uploaded in a very, very, very long time. It has been a very busy year, and I haven't really got round to it. But, you're probably wondering why there is a yellow mat in front of you. And that is because we are with Mr. Muffin Trains. Hello! Yes, we've got Riley's Railways back. And Yay. I'm at my place, so... We've just had some fun and he asked, oh, can I review the Duchess? So I decided, yes, why the heck not? Well, so here. <laughs> you've just given it away. Yes, we will be reviewing his Duchess, the Duchess of Sutherland. Um, the reason I am actually doing this specific one is because... Hopefully next week there will be an upcoming review. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Because it's a surprise, you're going to have to put your guess in the comments, okay? It's going to be pretty exciting, okay? So, stay tuned for that. Yes, yes. Mm. Mm. Okay, so, we are reviewing the Duchess of Sutherland. Now, this is a very big model. It's extremely big. Like, you probably can't tell from the camera, but it is. So, um... Duchess of Sutherland, the running number 6233. It's a very nice model. It is quite old, tender driven. I think it's on the box, um, which is somewhere around here. It said, um, 19, actually, no, the box is right here. Let me have a look. It said on the end of the box, it is, um, uh, um, can you read it? Or is it too dark? It said somewhere on. Oh, well, well, it's very old, okay, so, um... 1978. 1978, so, it's quite an old model, yes, but it's still very, very nice, as you can see. Separately fitted handrails, probably expected, though. Um, metal safety valves. It's very nice, it's tender-driven, I think I already said that. You can take the cover off if you want, you just sort of hold, put one hand on the thing and one hand on, you just pull, there we go. Yeah, so there's the, the motor. Unit there. Yeah. Put that back on so um as you can see if you didn't already know um it's from the lms railway which stands for london midland scottish railway that yep. is correct and um yeah it's a very nice livery um probably it's not my favorite for the um coronation class but um yeah it's still very nice so I don't really know what else to say on this. Um, it does have removable smoke deflectors. It, oh, yeah, yeah. It does have a few gimmicks. It's got removable smoke deflectors. They are very fiddly to put back on. So we would take them off, but um, we might have a fiddle around with that off camera and, you know, try and get them off for you. Yeah. Um, there's also headlights. Um, yeah. They're very dull, but we'll turn the lights From, off. You might be able to see yeah, them. you can see them there. Um, we'll take the lights off and see later if we can on. see them yeah we'll take we'll turn off the big shed lights later on yeah and um you can hopefully see them just excuse the lawnmower outside um, yeah it's a uh, lawn day <laughs> yeah so um yeah it's in that really nice maroon livery with the um yellow lining which i think looks pretty good on this model you got the cylinders down here the valve gear and connecting rods look really nice on this model and since it's tender driven you can roll them um it's got pickups in the wheels, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Does it have tender pickups? Uh, it should. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, I think Yeah, it so does. tender pickups and um, but yeah, you can driving see the, wheel pickups. You can see the little copper connection under yeah. there where um, power goes through the tender into a little pin in the, um, in the tender where the power goes. So it's a pretty good feature. The tender won't run without the tender, uh, the, without the locomotive, sorry. Um, yep. So it might just, have, it might not have pickups, but it might, it might also do so. It has some quite nice detail, you can see all the riveting and stuff, but um, in the cab, a bit of detail, not painted though, or just moulded into the plastic, which is probably expected from these older models, mm. but um, yeah, overall it's a pretty nice model, so um, we'll get it down onto the track, give it a run with some coaches. And I'll see you then. Yeah, it's a bit too big for the layout. Um, yeah, but it's sort of we've hit, done hit a bit test. Bit we've done a test lap, and um, she went around fine. It's honestly millimeters from hitting some things, but I'm sure we'll be fine. So um, 
we'll get them running and um, uh, there goes Princess and once she's out of the way we'll start moving the duct tape. There she goes. That's a lot smoother than the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop the point. Okay. There she goes. I reckon that's a decent speed. I reckon that looks nice. Yeah. Matching the breeze. We'll turn off the lights and we'll try and see if you can see the the light. You might oh, just yeah, be able to make it. Um, when she comes around on the next lap, have a look down the front of the um the front of the loco and you might see the light. It's very faint. Yeah, there it is. You might have seen it flash. It's not very bright, but um It's just a bit of a gimmick really that form just put in. Yeah. Okay, at least they at least they tried and put a bit of it in it. Yeah, there you go, you could see it there. Okay, so um, we might oh. turn the lights back on. Yeah, the princess has stopped. That's fine then. Um, if we just turn the lights back on, so we can actually see a bit better. Man, the ducks are flying. You slow it down a bit. So there we go. Okay, the lights are back on, and uh, yeah, the princess seems to stop over there for some reason. If you didn't already know, the um, coronation class is probably my favourite class of uh, Loco, so that's why I felt like reviewing this one today. And um, special review coming up next week. Stay tuned. Um, if you want to have a guess on what it is, uh, leave a comment, and um, it's going to be pretty special. So stick around. Yeah. I think you'll all love it. Oh man, I know I will. There goes the Duchess. On her next lap, we'll just stop her up and we'll actually compare her size to the Princess. Now, the Princess is a pretty big, pretty big loco. And, um, the Duchess is just monstrous in size. So, so we'll try and get them just from maybe a bit. About there, there we go. Look at the size difference there. That is insane. It's like half the smoke box is just like bigger. all of the front section probably from the smoke deflectors onwards is that much bigger which scale size is would be a lot that's massive and look you see the boiler size the duchess's boiler is just so much bigger which He's the princess is just sort of thin yeah and big smoke box small smoke box it was sort of like a ginormous upgrade yeah yeah, look, they do look very similar. Well, but you the princesses were more of an early version mm. of the coronations. Oh, yeah, they were much um, better. The coronations were more of just an improvement of them. Mm. Um, of <clears> course, <throat> this is one without streamlining, as you probably can already tell. But um, The Duchess of Southern was actually the very first one built without streamlining, so, yeah, she was the first one to look like that. Yeah, an interesting mm. fact, she yeah. is still preserved today. Yeah, she still runs on mainline tours with, I think, the Princess Coronation Trust. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll get them running again, and we'll stop rambling, and you guys can enjoy watching them run. Sorry about that, guys. Um, My iPad storage ran out. It That happened in most of my videos, actually. So I'm now filming this on my phone because my iPad is absolutely hopeless. It's only got, like, 16 gigabytes of storage, and about 14 of it is all the system, so I'm sorry about that, guys. So this was your fourth loco? Mm -hmm. So this isn't mine, just to make that clear. So, um, shout out to you for letting me review it, I guess. Oh, thank you. Um, if you haven't already, which you probably have, um, go subscribe to Mr. Muffin Trains, because he got me into the hobby. So, um, yeah, we'll get them running again, uh -huh. and there we go. There goes the Duchess. And we'll let them do a couple more laps and then we'll finish up the video because it's been going on for quite a while now. I'm going to say it again, but um, those Crimson Lake coaches with the Duchess look absolutely stunning. Oh, they do. They're very nice. It's a perfect match. Really. Oh, come on. Oh, princess. The princess is a speedy little loco. 
which is, and she runs so smooth, and that's pretty cool. I was looking at her go for a tiny one, that's pretty good. And also considering that she's 67 years old, that's, <laughs> that's like way older than me. And she runs perfectly fine, she's still in working order. So um, let's hope we don't have to um, put her out of service until a very long time. We'll see if we can get her to a bare hundred. Thirty-three years. Thirty-three years. If I'm still into the hobby, which I really hope I am, because it's expensive. But um, I'm sure I will be. But um, yeah, lovely loco. Same as the Duchess. Okay, so I think we'll bring them to a stop now. I'll just bring the Duchess around and do a little bit of an overview, conclusion sort of thing. And, um, we'll finish the video. So, the Coronation Class Duchess of Sutherland. It's a very nice model, I have to agree. The performance isn't great, but it doesn't really matter. It's a pretty old loco. <coughs> yeah, she's not bad for her age, really. Yeah. yeah she's pretty good. Being tender-driven, I'm, I'm, I think it's pretty good. So, um, detail. What would you rate that out of five? I'm going to be pretty harsh here. I'm going to say... I'm going to say a three. It's not bad for her age, but it yeah, does not um, go up to modern standards. For me, um, comparing it to modern, more modern locos, I would give it a three too. But considering its age, I'm going to give it a four, just okay. because it's one of the older models. Yeah. Um, performance, what would you give it? Well, she's not bad for a tender-driven loco, so maybe... I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be harsh, maybe. Three and a half? She's not, I, she's not bad for a tender drive. There yeah. are better, like the Royal Scott, but she's, um, she's not bad. Yeah, she's alright. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that. She's not the smoothest, no. but she is tender driven, and considering her age, and it's alright. Tender driven's aren't really known to, for their reliability. Yeah. For their reliability. Um, what about quality? What would you well, say? she's a sturdy model, so maybe, maybe four and a half. I would have to she's agree. Because she's a sturdy model, you know, yeah. you're not going to see her fall, the bits falling off. Yeah. Yeah, like you can. And see she, she looks really good. She's a, she, she looks nice. great. And yeah, she does. She's sturdy, so I would have to agree four and a half. And um, price. What would you say for that? She was really, really reasonable. Um, she was. Either forty or sixty dollars in between there, so not so bad. about fifty dollars. We'll call for it that. So not bad for a tender drive. A Duchess. tender drive, a very big model. Mm. I would expect that to be around the a hundred. So pretty good. Yeah, um, it's I'd pretty good. I'd say probably the, yeah, the value is probably valid. Yeah, that's a five. Yeah, you know? five for that the value. Five. I reckon. Same with the princess over there. That's quite a rare model, mm. considering it's one of the first models mm. um, that started the, out the yeah, company. The first um, moulding for um, uh, double O gauge trains. Yeah. So yeah, it is a it is a very iconic. It's very iconic. iconic. It's they are quite rare as well, mm. and it was sixty dollars. So yeah, the good and good um, good value there. You can see the value. Um, on it. If you haven't checked out my review on the princess, go check it out. I'm probably going to redo it though because it wasn't a very good review. Um, it was quite budget on the old track. It wasn't very good. So I might redo it. Keep an eye out for that. Yeah. We'll get to keep joining out the track. Yeah. Um, check it out. Good riddance good to it. that old layout. Yeah. Um, anyway, go check out that review. Have a laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how bad it was. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the Duchess of Sutherland. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, um, subscribe if you guys are new. And, and leave um, a comment to guess what you Guess want. what is coming next week. It's mm. going to be pretty exciting, guys. I'm probably going to post a separate video explaining what's going to happen, and you guys can also comment on that one. Have a guess. I will re be replying to the comments. It's going to be pretty exciting. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, turn on the notification bell to know when that video comes out, because trust me, you're going to want to see it. It's going to be pretty cool. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.